Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mansion Ford tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be going over upper body montages. So, I'll show you what I mean by that, as that will be a good explanation. So, typically, if we play a montage, it'll be like this. So, the whole body is moving, which means that if we then try to move, we're going to get this, which is why you sometimes disable the movement so the player can't move around. So, if we're punching here, we should be sliding around. However, we might want it so that only the upper body moves, so we can still run around while punching. So, we'll get something like this instead. So, we'll go from this to this, which as you can see is a lot better. And this works with any other animation that we're doing, and it just looks a lot better than this. So this is what we're going to be doing today, and as you can see here I have a full body and an upper body. So I'll also show you how we can switch between the two like that, instead of just having upper body. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So what we want to do first is we want to create our animation montage. Now you probably already have this, but if you don't, we want to right click on our animation, so minus this cross punch anim here which I got from Mixamo, and then going to go up to create at the top and create anim montage. And I'll leave this as the default name and open it up straight away. And you can see in here we have our animation montage. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause that, and then over on the right you can see we have anim slot manage there. So we have anim slot manage, so we're going to click on that. If you don't have the anim slot manager, you're going to go to window and then select it there, it should bring you down here like so. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the add slot and we're going to name this one upper body. Now the name doesn't matter, however you're going to want to name it upper body so you know what it is and what it does. After that we're going to go back into the middle here, under the montage default group you see we have default group dot default slot. We're going to press the arrow there for slot, go to slot name and select default group dot upper body. So now we're using the upper body slot that we have here. You can see this isn't going to be playing anything just yet, that's because we haven't set it up. All we've done now is telling it to use the upper body group in this montage. So we're going to save and we can close that. However, I'm just going to up the scale to be 1.5 as I want this to play a little faster, but that isn't required, that's just because I want it to play faster. So we can save and close that montage. Next, we want to open up our animation blueprint. So for me, that's content, mannequin, animations, third person anim BP. Again, this could be anything that you have. You're going to want to go to our anim graph here. So you might be in the state machine, so just hit anim graph. And we're going to move our state machine out a little bit like so. We're going to come out of the state machine and we're going to get a new saved cache position. I'm just going to rename this to be cached movement or movement cache or anything. You can name this whatever you like, just whatever makes sense for you, but this is going to be the cache for my movement. Now in this example it's punching, however I will just be using it for all types of movement as well. And now we have this like so. However you can see this is no longer connected to the output pose. That's because we need to do something else as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click use cached pose, whatever you named it, so I named mine cached movement there. Actually I'll, I'll rename this to movement cache to keep it a bit shorter, like so. And out of this we're going to get a layered blend per bone, with that going to base pose. Then we're going to duplicate or get again the used cached pose there. And out of this we're going to get a slot, default slot, plugging that into the blend poses zero. So it's going to go between these two poses here except we want to change it from slot default slot, as that will be the whole body, we want to change it to our upper body. So we can select it, go to slot name, and select default group upper body, and now you can see this is slot upper body there. And we'll leave the blend weights as one, and we can just plug that into the result there. If we hit compile, we can see this is nearly there. So this is the base part done, we now need to just also set up where it should be moving. So at the moment, we know it's upper body, but the code doesn't. So to do that, we're gonna select the layered blend per bone here, we're going to open up layer setup, open up a zero, and we're going to add an element to the branch filters, open that up. The bone name, you're going to want to make sure you spell it correct. So I'm going to do mine as spine 02, and I'll show you how to get this. So you're going to select the skeleton up the top here, and you can see we have all these spines here. For the upper body, you're most likely going to want to do spine 1, however I found for this specific animation, spine 2 looked a bit better but for you, you're most likely going to want to use spine 1. But obviously you can mess about with it to get it perfect for you. So spine 1 would obviously rotate it there, spine 2 would rotate it a bit further up there, and spine 3 would do it there. So you can obviously just pick where you want to rotate it from. And make sure you spell it the same way, so it's all lowercase and underscore, so spine 02. Again, you might want yours as 1 or 3, you can choose. The blend depth, we're going to set to 1. And then we're also going to tick mesh space rotation, so we know that we want to rotate it in the mesh, not the local space. And now it should be done. So again, change these to get them perfect for you. Now let's actually play our montage as well. So again, you've probably got that set up, so I'm going to compile, save, 
go to my character blueprint now. So that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. But for you, this could be different. Now I'm just going to do a very simple left mouse button. It's going to go into a play anim montage with the anim montage as my punch I have there. Now if I compile, we should see this working. So if we hit play, I'm going to left click, and we have our montage playing like so, rotating from the spine to as that's what I set it to. So this works great, and we can move around, play all our different animations as it's only playing the upper body animation montage which we wanted to play. However, what it's going to do is it's now going to play this for all of them. Or if you have a normal animation montage, it won't play it. So let me show you now how to have it as an upper body and full body if you want it as well. So we're going to go back to where we have our animations, which for me is the upper body montages. I'm just going to duplicate my actual animation. I'll just put one at the end. Then we're going to do the same process. So right click on that animation, create, create an montage and open that up again. Now in here, we can leave this all the same. So again, I'm just going to up the scale. However, everything else we can leave the same. So make sure that it's just the default slot, not upper body. Then we can close that. We can go back to our animation blueprint. In here, what we want to do is just move this code out a little bit. And out of the layered blend per bone, we're going to get a blend poses by bool. So if a boolean is true or false, it will switch between the different poses. And that can go into the result there. And I'll just move this up, give us some space. So true is going to do the upper body, false would do our normal one. So we want to right click and get use cached pose movement cache again, because that is our state machine there. Out of this, we're going to get a slot, default slot, leaving it as the default slot now, as that is our full body. And that can go in false there. So now that will perfectly blend between the two different poses of upper body and normal body. However, we do need to set the Boolean. So I'm going to right click on active value, promote to variable, and I'll name this one upper body. So if this is true, we are going to do the upper body. And I'll compile that like so. Then we'll go back to our third person character. Or oh, sorry, also you can see here it's going through the false value because that's false. If I set its default value to true, it will do the upper body. So you can see that working like so. But again, let's go back to our third person character and I'll set up the other montage and set in that boolean. So I'm going to now right click and get a right mouse button event. Again, just playing the animation montage like so. And that one can be left the same because that is going to be our full body. So we'll actually also change it to be our full body one there. So if it's full body, leave it as it is. If we want it to be upper body, off of pressed, we want to create a new variable, so hit plus variable, naming this one upper body, the same as we just did in the animation blueprint. And we're going to set that to be true off of released. Then after the play and the montage, we're going to come at the return value and get a delay and set this upper body boolean back to false. So it's only true while the montage is playing. The reason we want to set it back to false is so that it then goes back to using the normal montage. And we want to do it afterwards because otherwise it will stop halfway through if we set the boolean back to false. So this should now work perfectly for us as well. So again, the final part of setting this up is go back to the animation blueprint, go to the event graph, and off of your cast to your character here. So for you, that might be all the way up here. Off of try get porn owner. Essentially, we're going to come out of the as third person character or whatever it is for you and get upper body. And then off of this, we're going to set upper body, which we already have in this animation blueprint here. Now we can compile, minimize, hit play to test it. And if we left click, we get our normal upper body montage that we have here, doing it perfectly like so. And if we right click, we're going to get our full body montage, which we wanted as well. So this works great. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want to do, we set it up so we can use upper body montages. We've also set up so we can blend between upper body and full body as well, so we can still use both. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.